Hey everybody, it's Ashley, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We're located in Colfax, North Carolina. We are by appointment only, and you can reach me at 828-773-4500. This is an 8312 Endeavor Exus. Exus 8312 Endeavor, 8 wide, 7 8 tall. This is a 12 foot short wall. One owner trailer, they ordered this trailer new family has grown so they're gonna go to a camper nothing wrong with the trailer whatsoever so I'm just gonna go around it has a stain it is an all aluminum trailer stainless nose dual hydraulic jacks two propane tanks battery box it does have a slide does have manger storage, two manger doors, escape door, a flip up step at the escape door, drop down windows with bars. As I said, this is eight wide and seven eight tall. So it's a very big trailer. When I say big, the horse box is a good size at the seven eight. Back to, it's not big. This is actually the ideal size. A 12 foot short wall gives you a lot of ample room and you don't have such a long trailer so sorry if I misled that it's got the extrusion on the side which is a, a ribbed aluminum below those windows just gives it extra strength and ex extra protection when the horses are tied to the side of the trailer aluminum wheels it does have a rear ramp it does have a collapsible rear tack saddle rack and that is removable Blanket bar, bridle hooks, and a brush box. <clears throat> Horse box, a couple things I'll point out. Um, normal wear and tear on the rubber at the back of the horse stall in the middle. It does have a lower divider. It does have roof vents. The walls are insulated. The ceiling is not. Okay, so the walls are insulated. The ceiling is not. Is not. It's got padded dividers. That's padding on both sides. Horse box is an immaculate shape otherwise. Um, the white on the mat there is just basically how these mats do. Um, it's like a staining. There's nothing wrong with them. For whatever reason, the excess mats do this. Sold excess new for your couple of years and this was the, the year that I was selling them, the 2018s. Big sliders with bars on the rear, LED lights on the inside there. Now you can kind of get a better look at the little bit of rubber that's kind of torn there at the back of the horse's feet at the um, wheel well. But all in all, I would, I would put this as an excellent shape horse box with minimal issues. Um, let me just show you on this back door. I'm gonna go back around. This had some stickers on it. We've taken the stickers off so you can still see the imprint of the logo. Um, it's, it's actually very faded. So um, let me go back up here and see. I didn't even I didn't even notice it when I was doing the video. So you can kind of see it there behind the window. But that would be the only thing on the outside of the trailer um, that I can note. And there's one fender. I'm going to go to that one on the other side and just kind of show you where they um, had fixed a fender. These are not the original tires. So these are newer tires. Coming on around, I'll show you um, big sliders on the rear, which I just said. Uh, that fender, you can just kind of see where it's kind of rough, um, but it's actually been, been fixed back. So it, it actually doesn't stand out that bad, but just want to point it out. It does have a power awning, inside, outside speakers. Uh, there was a sticker there behind that window up at the nose as well. Champagne in color. All right, stepping in the LQ. Again, this is a 12 foot short wall. This is an excess interior. This is after um, they stopped doing Sierra interiors. All right, so this layout has the fridge and the slide box, which gives you extra floor space. Dinette does fold and make a bed. It does have the two steps up in the middle 
to the bed area and that's a big closet with two shelves. It does have the TV arm and it does have an antenna on the roof so you can mount a TV there. The customers left um, the TV mount in the box for that. So it does have um, storage space, hanging space there behind the bed area. It does have a USB port back there. Spinning on around to give you the back side view. It does have a rear kitchen. And that rear kitchen does have a glass top two burner stove, double stainless sink, microwave, a couple cabinets above, two drawers below. Big fridge, nice mirror on the wall here. All right, and spinning around the bathroom is an octagon shower with a sink and vanity. I'm just kind of show you that shower. It does have a walk-through door and it does have two extra mirrors back here and this is both storage space above and below with hanging bars um, actually on both it does have a pocket door so a good size 12 foot is a good I guess size in the fact that it's not too big but it's not too small, it gives you a lot of ample space and room, it gives you a big fridge, it gives you a nice rear kitchen. Most of them are rear kitchens. This does have a ducted AC propane furnace. As I said before, this is a one owner they bought this trailer new. Just had some family changes with their um, family. And they're going to go on to a camper type trailer. All right, guys. So this is an 8312 Endeavor. Exus Endeavor. Three horse. Eight wide. Seven eight tall. One owner, excellent shape, champagne in color. Stepping back out. All right, guys. Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. If you guys have any questions, my name is Ashley. I'll be happy to help you any way I can. Any information further about price, some, um, any kind of measurements or anything like that, you can reach out to me as well as it will be on the website, carolinatrailersales.com. Please like our page if you haven't already. We'd appreciate it. Like our YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.